Hi, I'm Dua from MITC Sale, and today I will present infrared tags. Infrared tags are invisible labels embedded into objects that are 3D printed with an infrared transmitting material. Even though you cannot see these tags with the naked eye, they can be captured by using an infrared camera and computer vision techniques. To clarify our motivation, let me start by explaining how tags are important for ubiquitous computing. Attached objects for identification, tags are used in many industries like shipping, retail, robotics, and manufacturing. With augmented reality getting more popular, wearable devices promise to enrich our daily interactions by providing information to us whenever we need it. These devices need to constantly identify what is around us and display related digital content. Imagine you're at a store browsing different items. You'd like to get further information about the products you're considering the unit price, recipes, calorie information, or cheaper alternatives. For this to work, the objects around us need to carry labels that describe what they are and communicate this information to digital devices. While QR codes are great for this purpose, it is not plausible to just slap a QR code on everything around us. Even though barcodes like QR codes are really cheap to manufacture, they're typically visually distracting and not as durable as other tags like RFID. So how about we instead directly embed the tags into the object geometry? Let me talk about previous research on this. Some projects suggesting carving or adding visible 2D tags on the surface of the object, such as a QR code, a linear barcode, or a more customized pattern. As you can see, all of these tags are visible and they impact the look of the object. So researchers then came up with new techniques to hide the tags. One piece of work I showed at Kai 2020 is GID, which uses the unobtrusive surface artifacts that appear due to the 3D printing process to identify the object. However, these tags are only used for identification and do not store any data. Air code and infrastructs were the pioneers in showing how invisible data bits can be embedded as air gaps within the object surface. However, these tags are decoded using expensive or large imaging tools, which also require scanning times on the order of minutes. Infrared-based layer codes have barcodes that can be imaged using cheap cameras. However, they require the hardware and the software of the SLA printer to be modified. So in our work, we intend to create invisible tags that carry information, can be fabricated with common printers, and detected rapidly using low-cost cameras. Infrared tags achieve this by using an affordable region of the electromagnetic spectrum, the near-infrared region. Now, let me explain what I mean by affordable. Here you see the electromagnetic spectrum, and here is a section of it. On the left side, we see the visible region, and on the right, we have different regions of infrared light. Because infrared cannot be directly seen by humans, we can use these regions to encode and decode invisible information. Here you see some of the regions within infrared, from near infrared to terahertz. If you want to image objects in long wavelength infrared or terahertz, that is going to be pricey. As you see in these examples, the longer the wavelength, the more expensive is the imaging equipment. However, near infrared cameras are much more affordable, so they are particularly suitable for our purpose. In this project, we use a $20 NIR camera by Raspberry Pi. So now that we know more about near infrared, I'd like to talk about how to embed infrared-based tags into 3D objects during the fabrication process. One key observation here is that many plastic materials actually pass near infrared light. Such materials are commonly used in TV remotes and other electronics. For our goal, we had to find an infrared translucent 3D printable material, and after extensive testing, we decided to use a filament manufactured by 3DK Berlin. Since this filament is based on the most common 3D printing material, PLA, it is as affordable as regular filaments and can be printed at regular temperatures. We tested how this filament compares to regular PLA filaments and measured the transmission characteristics using a spectrophotometer. Here, the blue curve is for the IR PLA and the orange one is for the regular PLA, each for one millimeter samples. Let's have a closer look. On the x-axis, we have the wavelengths, including visible light and near infrared. The y-axis is the transmission percent. For the regular PLA, we see that the transmission is at 0% for all wavelengths, which means that it blocks both visible and near-infrared light. For the special IR PLA, we see that it transmits near-infrared at 45%, while it blocks most of visible light. Now that we know the material's characteristics, let me explain how the tag is embedded. Let's assume that this box is the original 3D model that we want to embed the tag in. First, we pick where the tag should be facing, and then we go down the surface by a certain distance, the shell thickness. Underneath, we have the tag with the thickness value labeled as code thickness. The tag, which is a QR code in this example, is extruded as a cuboid. 
Now let me move the cuboid out of the object. You see how the main object on the right has a void where the tag can go in. These two parts are integrated and printed together. However, the tag is printed using regular PLA while the main object is printed with IR PLA so that the IR camera can see through it and detect the tag. This is how we print infrared tags using our multi-material approach. While less preferred, a single material approach is also possible, which we describe in the paper. Now, you might be wondering what value should be used for the shell thickness and co-thickness that I mentioned. To determine the shell thickness, we printed a sample pattern, a checkerboard. And on top of it, we printed the infrared translucent PLA of varying thickness. And then we took a picture of it from above. This is how it looks to us humans. Now, as you see, at a certain point, the pattern is no longer discernible, right? Well, the interesting thing is, when you image it with an IR camera, this is what you get. And when you run our image processing pipeline on the IR image, you're able to reconstruct the checkerboard pattern like this. But as you see, it gets worse with, an, with increasing thickness. So at a certain point, the pattern is no longer reliably binarized. These two limits give us a range of possible values for the shell thickness. For the sake of best detection, we use the smaller limit value for our print. So now that we know how our method works, let's talk about its applications and workflow. Infrared tags can be used to embed data about the object into the object itself. In this example, we have embedded the mug's fabrication link. If the user likes to look up an object, they can take a picture of it to download its 3D model and print a copy for themselves. To embed this URL into the object, makers can simply use our UI. Next, one can directly 3D print the modified model. Here you see the print halfway through, on the left the naked eye view, and on the right the IR view, which reveals the QR code. Next, for detecting the tag, the user can attach our infrared imaging module to their smartphones. The module consists of low-cost components as shown here. This module is not necessary if you have a smartphone that already comes with an IR camera, such as OnePlus 8 Pro. In our second application, I want to show you how infrared tags can be embedded into devices to shove the corresponding controls to the user. Here, a control menu is shown in the AR view where the user can adjust the volume of the speaker. Or set a temperature for the thermostat. In our final use case, you see how this plastic desk, which doesn't have any electronics in it, is used as a game controller. Even though the wheel is rotationally symmetric, the IR camera can see the fiducial marker inside and infer its orientation. Let's conclude. At the beginning, I told you about my vision of embedding unobtrusive tags into everyday objects. With infrared tags, we create markers that are invisible and that can be detected using low-cost tools. Thank you so much for your interest.